Hello! Hi guys, it's Inamica4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. I'm going to show you in this video how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery on your handset. So if you rooted your device via the motor chopper method or even flashed it via Odin, but didn't install a custom recovery, we're going to go through that process in this video. And for those of you who don't know what a custom recovery console is, amongst other things, it allows you to take a complete image backup of your phone. So all your contacts, your messages, all your applications and the data inside of them, how they're laid out on the screen, it allows you to back up absolutely everything and then you can restore back from it as well. And before we get into it, I just want to point out that neither myself, Samsung or Google take any responsibility for anything that might go wrong during this process. So proceed at your own risk. And with that being said, I'm just going to show you what I'm running. So we'll go to menu, settings, the more tab, then down to about device. And you can see there the model number is showing as GT i9505. Android version is 4.2.2 and the baseband version is ending in MDM. Now, as I say, this device is rooted, so if you don't already have root access on your handset, check out the links in the description for our previous video on how to do that, but do bear in mind it does void the warranty. And before we proceed, we need to enable developer options. So again, we'll go to menu, settings, the more tab, and you should see developer options at the bottom of that list. If you do not see it, go into about device, scroll down, and when it says build number, tap that seven times until it says developer mode has been enabled. I've already got it enabled, so we'll go back one and tap into it. And what you need to do, slide the slider at the top right of the screen towards the right hand side so it's green. Hit OK to the message and then scroll down or in the middle of that particular menu it says USB debugging. Make sure you put a tick there. Hit OK to the message and then we're done. We're going to turn off the phone. Just pair that off quickly here and it should turn off pretty quickly. So as that's going off there, what we need to do is go into download mode by pressing the volume down, power button and the home button simultaneously at the same time until the screen turns on. So here we go, three, two, one, go. And that should turn on any second now. It's just vibrated to symbolize it's recognized the input and we can let go of the buttons. Now it gives you a brief warning here, but we know what we're doing. So we're gonna hit volume up and Bob's your uncle, we're in download mode so what we're now going to do is connect this up to our computer via the usb lead that came with the handset once on your computer if you get a little speech bubble in the bottom right just stating that it's installing the device drivers let that continue first before you do anything else if it fails or for some reason your pc doesn't detect the phone i would recommend try a different usb port on the pc maybe one at the back of the machine try removing the drivers that you have on the machine and install them fresh from the samsung website i'll try and leave a link in the description as well to those drivers just in case you need them once the device is connected and the drivers installed you need the two files having the top right my screen here first one is odin second one is the clockwork mod recovery file itself ending in .tar. all you need to do is download it you do not need to extract this clockwork mod recovery file if you cannot see the .tar extension that means you've extracted it and you've gone too far all you need to do is simply download it and plonk it on your desktop for ease of use so what we're going to do is load up odin i'm going to right click and do run as administrator because i'm running windows 7 and this loads up the Odin interface here. Notice a yellow box here, just symbolizing that Odin is recognizing that the phone is connected to your computer. I think in the later versions of Odin, this may be blue, but either way, it needs to be lit up blue or yellow, whichever version of Odin you're running. So if you don't have this COM port lit up in either color, that means Odin is not detecting that your phone is connected to your computer. So just go through the troubleshooting steps that we've already talked about. But if you've got this yellow box in Odin, then you're ready to go. What you need to do is go across to PDA, put a tick there, hit the PDA button and locate the .tar file that we've just placed on our desktop. And if I can just locate it here, there it is, i9505, and it's got the .tar file extension, as you can see. So we'll hit open, and it puts the entire path there. We'll hit start, and it should start downloading it fairly quickly to the handset, as you can see. And then it should say, pass green recovery on Odin, and the phone will start rebooting. Excellent, phone's rebooted and got to a lock screen, so we're just going to swipe to go in here. I no longer require the computer, so I'm just going to unplug it from there. So we're going to test to see if Clockwork Mod Base Recovery is actually installed okay. So first of all, switch off the phone in order to get to it. Once the phone switches off, what we're going to be doing is pressing the volume up button and the home button simultaneously, keeping those pressed down. Then we're going to do a long press on the power button. So here we go, phone's now off, so volume up, home button, press down simultaneously. We're going to press down the power button or oh, long press on it and it, the S4 logo should pop up with recovery booting in blue writing in the top left as it does there. So I'm going to let go of the power button, still got the volume up and the home buttons pressed down until it gets to the next stage. Should get the S4 logo again with recovery booting in the top left of the screen. So now we can let go of 
all the buttons and it should take us through to clockwork mod base recovery yay as it does you can see there CWM clockwork mod base recovery version 6.0.3.2 and if you haven't used this before the on-screen controls do also work as you can see there a little bit slow sometimes but you can also use the volume up and down rockers to go through the menus as well as then just pressing either the home button or the power button to make your selection to go in like so I'm just gonna go back there to get to the main one and that's how easily you can install clockwork mod based recovery on the Samsung Galaxy S4 handset any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's also down there as well doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time